sunk just Oh my god, what they I have a visual? There. That's crazy. He just kinda slammed her, not even gonna lie. It's a, it's a Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shock with TG, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over my settings for Operation Shadow Legacy. I've had a lot of requests to remake this video for the new season, so to get right into it, we're going to head to my general settings. So, to start us off, squad privacy is on open. Um, all of this is pretty much just default for the most part. Interface settings is where I've got some things changed. So, I'm kind of just going to scroll through, and you guys can pause and look what you want to look at, and, you know, if you want to change it to whatever you want um so i've changed some things in here but for the most part everything's default it's kind of just pro league settings to be honest uh so that's it on to audio i use english of course subtitles on i have 70 master volume in game and 70 windows volume i have no idea why they're both on 70 one's on 100 could not tell you but it's what i've been doing for years dialogue volume is 60 uh, dynamic range is night mode. I've heard that there are others are like also good, but I've been on night mode for like two, three years now. And, uh, I, to be honest, I don't even know why. I think somebody recommended it. It was like some big streamer said that it was the best at the time. Um, there's probably one that's better, but for me personally, night mode has worked. Um, I've actually only gotten the sound bug this season once and it was during the TTS. So I don't know. Maybe there's something there. Uh, voice travel, I'm 80, me on, unfocused on, uh, push to talk, all that. Uh, on to display. So my primary monitor is an Acer Predator 240Hz 24-inch monitor. And my second monitor is a Acer 24-inch 144Hz monitor. Uh, I play 1920, 1080. I do not play windowed mode. I play full screen, but I'm currently windowed so that I can access my second monitor in OBS while I'm recording. Um, I usually play 240Hz, of course, because I have a 240Hz monitor with full screen. I play 4.3 aspect ratio, V-Sync and wide widescreen letterbox off, and I play an 84 FOV. Uh, my brightness is on 70. As for the graphics, uh, I use custom graphics, so pretty much everything is low or off for the most part, besides shadows. Uh, shadows I like to have on medium so that I can have the dynamic shadows. Um, everything else here is off besides anti-aliasing. So in my previous settings video, I actually had anti-aliasing off. Um, but I've noticed like when I have it on, I get so many more frames while streaming or recording like videos like this. Um, so personally, I've been keeping TA on. I don't like how it looks like it. It's okay. It makes the game a little bit blurry, but uh, it is what it is. The like the much needed FPS. I, I need to upgrade my GPU. I'm going to get a 3090, but uh, currently I only have a 1080 hybrid. So once that comes out, I may go back to having TA off, but for now, I have TA on with these settings. So next up is controls. Um, so I have raw input off. I don't know why. Um, I should probably have it on. I used to have it off because when it first was implemented into the game, there was some bug where it would make your mouse like freeze up, your mouse cursor. So I had it off until they fixed it, and I just, I guess I just never turned it back on. So whatever. Uh, mouse look conversion, I have disabled. My sensitivity is 400 DPI on 1414 horizontal vertical. Uh, I used to be 55 ADS, like Steel Wave and previous. Um, but now this is my new sense. So if you were to convert my sense, this is what it would be. So I'll kind of just scroll through and you guys can pause and take a look at it if you'd like. So this is my updated sense for Shadow Legacy. Um, so mouse scroll wheel I have off. I have gadget deployment, drone deployment on advanced, and then I have aim and lean on toggle. So a lot of people don't actually know what toggle aim is. And basically what it is, is for example, if you were going to go hold an angle on a doorway or whatever it may be, usually you would be holding down your right click button on your mouse to hold that angle. But for me, all I have to do is click it once and then I stay ADS, even if I stop holding my mouse. And then I basically have to click again to on ADS. So I know, a lot of people are going to know what that is and, you know, you're going to think I'm done for explaining that. But I get a lot of comments asking what it is and why I use it. So, um, honestly, I use it because it helps my wrist. I, I think I have carpal tunnel. I, I get really bad wrist pain when I play a lot. So, it helps to not be pressing down constantly. Uh, I kind of just, when I'm going to hold an angle, I hit the button once and I'll have to be stressing my wrist, holding it down. It sounds really dumb, but it, it, it does actually hurt my wrist over time. Uh, so... Carrying on, I have sprint on hold, I have crouch and prone on toggle. 
So we'll go into my actual settings now, control settings. So um, again, I'm just going to kind of scroll through. You guys can pause and look at what you want to look at. Uh, but for the most part, everything's defaults. I've only changed a few things. My movement keys and all that are basically the exact same as default. Besides, I've actually changed... Uh, I changed crouch and prone. So usually your prone is on... What is it? Control, I think it is. And your crouch is on C. Personally, I did the reverse. So I play with crouch on control and prone on C. I mainly did this because like drop shotting used to be a really big thing like two years ago in the game. So it was really easy for me to hit C and just drop shot. Um, and then also crouch spamming was a thing too. So it was easy for me to spam control as well while also being able to strafe. Because uh, if I were to hit C for crouch back when crouch spamming was a thing, I couldn't really strafe to the right because I used this, my, my pointer finger, to hit C to prone and also to hit D to move to the right. So if I wanted to strafe to the right and crouch, I couldn't because I was holding down C. So I'd have to move the rest of my fingers to adjust and it was just really awkward for me. So that's kind of why I play on that. Walk is on alt, uh, shoot, and all that's all defaulted. My melee attack is the back mouse button so this mouse button here i have two uh side buttons on my g pro wireless uh, i also have hyperglides i know a lot of people ask if you have, if i have hyperglides i do uh primary gadget i have on four i used to have it on my middle click but unfortunately my g pro seems to have double clicking issues so i've taken it off of that if i was playing like sledge or something and i was in a gunfight it would like randomly pull out my sledgehammer so i just i had to turn it off i had to go to a different key Secondary gadget is the front button on my mouse, so this one here, and then this is melee. Uh, entering cams and drones is 5, deploying drones 6. Uh, I switch weapons with 1 and 2 on my keyboard. I don't use scroll wheel because it's disabled, like I said. Also, my keyboard is the Ducky Mecha Mini, for anyone who's wondering. Uh, pinging is G. Switching firing mode is B. Weapon swap, this is like an alternative weapon swap key. Uh, I put it on period because I don't want to accidentally swap weapons without one or two. So that's why that's there. And th these are just all your observation tools. So like when you're spectating in a custom game. And these are all default because I don't, I just don't spectate any games. I have no reason to. So this is literally just all defaulted settings. Nothing here has changed. So on to accessibility. The thing I know everybody's trying to wonder about. Um, my, my optic settings, crosshair settings, whatever you want to say. I use pink or purple whatever you want to call it with 100 100 opacity um, i also like to use green sometimes or red but for the most part i just like using pink like 99 percent of the time i'm on pink um i know that a lot of the other colors are really good but for me purple works i don't believe there's such thing as a quote unquote best color or best opacity setting i think it's really just like a a personalized setting so Whatever you use is the best for you. Whatever I use is the best for me. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't stress too much about what people are using on this. I, it's, it's really just whatever you want to use. The only thing I will say about this, though, is I feel like the yellow and the white are not the play. I think those are the only two that, like, maybe aren't good. Uh, just because they're so light and it's hard to see if you're looking outside or on certain surfaces. Um, but other than that, I, I think any of the other colors are great. Any opacity setting, whatever you want to run, I think is awesome. Um, but that's it for my settings, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.